Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we are playing Project 1999 on Malagdori. Uh, I don't know why I just laughed there. Um, anyway, I, I'm thinking about several different things right now. And one of the things that I keep having problems with, and something that I just wanted to bring up was um, tanks. Tanks. Okay, so... Here's the issue, is that I am a tank class, um, one of two of the best taunting tank classes being that the Paladin is the other, and sometimes even better, but here's my issue, is that when you're in a group and you're called to be a main tank, meaning that, uh, say, I'm 36 and somebody else is level 30, or something along those lines, is it that people forget or maybe that people are headstrong as a tank class? I mean, that's why you choose a tank class it's because you want to be the head of the pack. You want to be the strongest or whatnot. So why is it that whenever you group or in or in a group as the tank that the other tank classes still use taunts they use their taunt spells especially if you're a shadow knight or a paladin you'll see people using um disease cloud or uh blind uh the blind spells or i mean those are the two that really threaten my class is <laughs> just the same class or the other class that just happens to be the opposite of my class um, it is very hard for a warrior to pull aggro off of me. They have to have really good weapons. They have to have really good haste. And I have to not be paying attention for a warrior to actually pull aggro off me until they get into their 50s. But for now, um, I find that people are getting hurt or getting... Uh, hit because they try to pull aggro off the other tanks. So you have three people or two people, depending on how many tanks are in the group, who are, are having to be healed by the healers. And if you have a cleric, a cleric has only so much mana, or a druid, that's why you have two uh, two healers sometimes, a uh, druid and a cleric, or a shaman and a uh, cleric, or a shaman and a druid. But... It, the thing is, is that what you're doing whenever you're an off tank and you're pulling aggro when you uh, don't need to be, then you are causing more mana loss on a cleric or a healer type. And that really um, annoys me because of the fact that you have more downtime. And if you've ever grouped with me, you know I don't do downtime. I am on. Whenever we get in group and I'm told I'm the puller or the tank, I'm on. I'm pulling nonstop as much as I can unless it's just a group where we have an actual puller for that group. But I don't like downtime and whenever you're pulling aggro off of me you are making more downtime for our healers though if you are lucky and have an enchanter come by and do a c2 on us then that cl it really doesn't matter two tanks could be tanking two mobs claire could be healing both of them and everything would be fine but even with clarity clerics will run out of mana Especially if they have to buff before a pull because buffs are fa uh, falling. And if a uh, cleric is really good, they will choose which buffs they put on which people in the group. Not everyone needs to have the best uh, hit point buff, the best AC buff. So a good cleric will uh, choose what they're going to use based off of the class that they're, they're putting them on. That all said, I mean, that's really just common sense information, but if you don't take that to heart, then you end up messing up the balance of a group, and the balance is where it all happens. 
Now, I may have said something wrong in there because I'm just going based off the top of my head and things that I'm thinking about. But I've had that so many times now where you're grouped with a tank and you can tell who is paying attention and who's not. Who knows that you're the tank and they're not the tank. And, or whenever there's three tanks and all tanks are doing tanking <laughs> uh, and completely forgetting that there's an enchanter in the group so there's one tank on one mob there's one tank on another mob you have a, an enchanter who's like dude what mob am I supposed to be, uh, what mobs left why are you guys attacking it we could be <laughs> anyway the point is is that when you are a tank class and not the tank in a group then act as a DPS class and you will resolve the issue. That's what I do as a DPS class who is a tank. Uh, whenever I am part of a group and I am not the tank. Is I get rid of my my um, aggro spells. Put in my actual um, DPS spells like Heat Blood. And then my snare, I put my low level snare and only snare whenever it gets to the last part of the mob's health and and so on. Anyway, small thing I just wanted to bring up, uh, just a rant and it really need not to be said. But um, let's go ahead and get to killing, right? Alright, see you soon. Okay, so I'm in a group now uh, in Frontier Mountains. Finally got some experience flowing 1% at a time. It's kind of nice. Better than nothing. Um, so uh, next thing I want to talk about is if you are the tank, what can you do to make your job easier? And these things are the common sense things that if you've been playing EverQuest long enough, then you already know about what I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you. So, the first thing is going to be macros. Macroing your abilities so that you don't have to press three buttons. You can press one button to, that acts as all three buttons. For me, it is bash, uh, taunt, and then at level 40, I will have disarm. So, I'll use all of those in one button. Now, the way I do it is I just tap the button over and over and over during the fight. And just, um, you don't really have to do that. You can do every three or four uh, seconds you can click it. But, I mean, it's easy for me to just keep tapping it. That's just what I've done with rogues. Well, not rogues, but with warriors, um, rangers, any class that has taunt. And you can see here that I have bash set up that it's it's actually bash um, and taunt at the moment. Rogues can do it. Um, they actually get the ability to do some really cool macros like they can do hide, uh, pickpocket, as well as backstab. They can do hide, sneak, pickpocket, backstab if they want to. Hide, sneak, pickpocket, uh, disarm. I think that's five five things that they can do. Um, also, you you have to turn attack off. So attack off, hide, um, ba uh, pickpocket, backstab, attack, or pause ninety or pause five, then attack something like that. It, it, the actual actions don't take very much time. They they're pretty fast. So, um, what I like to do is, whenever I'm first testing it, I usually keep uh, my abilities open so that I can see them. So, I, here I have Taunt Bash, Sense Heading, uh, Bind Wounds, uh, and so on. Um, whenever this guy comes up, I'm going to go ahead and start. And you'll see that one is going to come up faster than the other. But I, well, you may not even see it. So there's Taunt. And there's Bash. And then you'll have Taunt and then Bash again. And so on. But I like to go ahead and just spam it. So you never even see it. Or you may see it. It just pops up and goes down. Uh, because it's always 
doing what it's doing. Why am I? Wow. Everything. I'm going to have to let them know the buffs that are gone. Um. So, clarity, strength, region. Oh, and I want to keep going. Hell, um, these guys are green to me, uh, but they're still dark green to others. And uh, if they're dark green to them that, and they're getting experience, it means that I should be getting experience off of these, though it's not going to be visible. The reason I'm killing them is so that we can spawn actual blues. So it should be, um, I should get experience. If I, yeah, so I got experience, that means they're getting experience. Uh, we have some people who are level 33, some people who are 30 ish. Then there's 35s, 36, and 38 in the group. So that's it for that. As far as other things, there's spells like Disease Cloud, a level 9 spell for Shadow Knights that will hold aggro like nothing else. Though if you combine it with a actual uh, darkness spell... That's not a dark spell, but that will work as well. Now I'm going to twist it. Uh, try to get her. I try to turn them. I forget a lot of times, especially when I'm recording. But um, that's something uh, something else you want to do as a tank. Wow. <laughs> they, they're going wizard on these guys. Um, you want to turn the mob for your rogue um, because it will be easier for them to start attacking. The sooner they start attacking, the sooner they have a chance to do a, um, a backstab. And the sooner they do a backstab, the more, um, the, well, the faster they will actually go down. So, the mob, rather. I uh, said that word. Anyway, Last thing I wanted to really talk about, and though my voice is kind of dry, and this is just how I normally talk in real life, um, one of my favorite YouTubers is coming back um, to Project 1999. And um, if you've never heard of him, or you've never really searched for people on EverQuest, then you are definitely missing out because this guy is really cool. His name is Level One Under Con, and um, he just made a video that posted today saying that he's coming back, talking about how he got a new computer, and um, also how he's wanting to do compilations, which will be pretty cool, where it shows like different the same kind of class against uh, across different platforms like a ranger here and a ranger in skyrim or a ranger in dark age of camelot or ranger in a game that is that is the only class in the game kind of thing um I'm, those aren't his words exactly <laughs> Uh, these are my interpretations, so I would definitely suggest going and watching the video, which will have a link in the description. So definitely go check him out. If you've never watched any of his videos, I would suggest to go ahead and um, st just sit there for hours and just watch. He also had another channel, uh, which I can't remember the name of, but it was like a year... Or two, uh, it was a year long experiment where he was, he had this weird voice that he talked in. Um, and then finally, um, he just said, Guys, this isn't how I talk. Um, and then, boom, he went straight into level one undercon as his new, his new name, which I think is an amazing, uh, amazing name. 
and um, it's gone from there. So definitely check him out. And um, there's other people like uh, Bits and Bob. Bob's, I think, is the other guy's name. Uh, very good um, person to watch as well. ZK, who's now rising in the ranks and doing some crazy uh, raids. But these are all blue uh, that I know of. I don't know that they play on red. But I would like to see some actual red people. People who actually record the red server. I did for a little bit on Ogear. But I, I just... I, I don't know. You, you have an affinity for characters. Especially when you've been playing for so long on those characters. That's very hard for you to um, move to a completely different server where you don't have the resources that you do on on the other server that you're coming from so uh i'd like to sit down and be unbiased one day one time and level up and definitely see some of these raids that we do here on the blue server on the red server because i'm, I'm guessing they're chaotic beyond the point of BDA doing trains through TOV kind of thing. Uh, so uh, definitely want to check those out. But I wanted to end there. That's really all I had to say today. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.